Hey everyone, Olaf here, and today I'm going to show you a very simple way to add random colors in Blender. So it should be easy for beginners. So let's get started. Now you want to start off by switching to Cycles for better shading, and click X to delete the lamp. And we're going to add left click a 3D cursor and add a plane. So scale it up with S. This is going to be the ground of the cube. Now we're going to add another plane. This is going to be our lighting. So click R to rotate, T to grab, and then S to scale. I'm going to move it closer to the camera. So click G and Shift Set to grab it only on the X and the Y axis. And then click R, then Set to rotate it on the Z axis. Now scale up the settings. We're going to go to Materials and add a Emission Material. So switch to emission and bump up the value to 3. And now we're going to start adding the random material. And the way to do that is to use nodes. And that might sound hard, but it's actually very easy in this tutorial. We're just going to use two new nodes. So go to node editor here. And we're going to start adding. So go to add and then search and you're going to write in hue saturation and then we're going to add search and then object info. Okay so let's start connecting those and we're going to start connecting random to hue and then we're going to connect color to color. And now we're just going to change this color to blue. And that's pretty much it. Now we have a random material. So if you go into rendered mode now, you'll see that we have a random color. And if I select this cube and click Shift F to duplicate, a new object with the same material will pop up, but it will have a different color because it's random. And now you can add as many objects you want and duplicate them, and it will always have a random color. So I'm just gonna add a few more. And that's how you make random colors in one material. And that's it for this tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials in this format, just subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching.